Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Owen. Um, I'm going to do a cover today of Taylor Swift's Lover um, in anticipation for her upcoming album Folklore, which I really cannot wait for. Um, thankfully, we don't have that much time to wait for it. Like, it's coming out soon, to be honest. Um, yeah, so I've always wanted to do a cover of this song. I've actually learned it off by heart, which I'm very happy about. Um, I don't always get to do that. The last song that I did uh, learn off by heart was Katy Perry's Never Really Over, which I also think is very fitting to mention um, with their nice friendship and stuff. Maybe there'll be a collab with Katy Perry on this album. That would be fantastic, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've always wanted to cover this song. I love this song. I love this album. I've spoken about that before. Um, I'll speak about it more after after I do the cover. Um, I just want to sing first. Um, so you guys know how I feel about the song and about Taylor Swift and her upcoming album. So yeah, let's get into this. Um, it's super great and hopefully I can do it justice. can leave the Christmas lights up till January This is our house, we make the rules There's a dazzling way, mysterious way about you dear Have I known you for twenty seconds or Twenty years. Can I go where you go? Can we always be this close forever and ever? And I take me out. Take me. We can let our friends crash in the living room This is our place, we make the call And I'm highly suspicious that everyone who sees you wants you I've known you for three summers now, honey But I want them all Take this magnetic force of a man to be my lover. My heart's been borrowed and yours has been blue. All's when that else when that end up with you. Swear to be over dramatic and true to my lover. And you'll save all your dirtiest jokes. For me, and at every table, I'll save you a seat, lover. Can I go? My, 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 
Lover by Miss Tay Tay Swift. T Swizzle. Um yeah, great, 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 great song. Um thank you so much for watching, for clicking this video. Um please like and subscribe if you want to see more. Um I tend to kind of do covers and then a short discussion or sometimes longer discussion if I'm very passionate about it. I like to ramble. Um a discussion about that song, that artist, what it means to me. Um, with Taylor Swift, I've uh, covered Look What You Made Me Do Before, which is also great. Um, and in that video, I spoke about my kind of relationship with her, how it's developed over time, how there was a point where I was slightly divided, um, was maybe more of a fan of Katy Perry, and I felt that my alliance had to stand with her or whatever but I'm so grateful now that we as a um, pop consumer as um as you know a stan culture whatever have gotten past that point um and we're able to like both and all artists which is really nice um I cover some Katy Perry too as well I love her to bits I'm also excited for her new album um but yeah Folklore, I mean, it should be really exciting. Lover is the album that made me fall in love with Taylor Swift and her work. Um, I've always known her, I've always, you know, listened to the singles, but Lover, I consume that whole piece of work, inside out, upside down. I mean, even at the end where it kind of goes like, um, My, 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 my. Lover, I want to go. I would be complex. I would be cool. Da, 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 da. It just I want to go straight into the man, which is the next song on the track list. Um, for those that don't know, who are more casual fans, which is fine. But um, for me, a good song, a good album is when it ends, and I know. I can I can hear myself singing the next um. The next song straight away. A really good popular example at the moment would be Lady Gaga's um, Chromatica, Chromatica 2 into 911. I'm going to sneeze, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, and also, sorry if some people kind of get a bit scared because coronavirus has them on high alert for sneezing and stuff. Thankfully, this is just through your laptop or your, your phone or whatever, so um, you're safe. Um, yeah, it's like shuffling chromatica, which is just a stupid thing to do, um, and you don't get the chromatica 2 lead into 911, which is iconic and is, you know, a meme at this point, or used in memes, um, so yeah, Lover, a great album, um, I was hoping to, I've spoken about it briefly or I alluded to it in some of my other videos, of doing a Taylor Swift, I was going to do her whole album, like the whole Lover, and um, try, challenge myself to do every song in it. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to happen now, maybe I'll do it for Folklore. Um, yeah, because I've also done a Lana Del Rey challenge, uh, I'm still doing it, it's on pause, but where I try to do, uh, chronologically do, not her entire discography, but a significant amount of her discography big fan of Lana's, as is Taylor Swift, which I also appreciate greatly. Um, but yeah, maybe it'll be for folklore. Maybe I'll cover Cardigan. Uh, I do have my cardigan on today. Um, I saw her the merch that she had for this new this new album. Um, yeah, she had folklore, uh, vinyls and cassettes and stuff, which I do like. I have some cassettes from newer albums as well. Um, but she had a cardigan as well, I was like, I already have this cardigan actually, um, which is, I, I can't really afford her cardigan. This cardigan was eight euros in Sweden when I lived there, um, which is significantly cheaper. Um, I'm also just trying out um, date night um, outfits, because um, I'm going on a date with my boyfriend tomorrow. So hopefully he doesn't see this beforehand and, you know, there's no surprise to my outfit. Um, I'm currently just wearing tracksuit bottoms, so I'll wear jeans tomorrow. Um, 
so cardigan maybe i'll cover that maybe that'll be my next taylor swift cover unless it's like a techno uh, a techno kind of song with lots of bass drops and stuff and minimal lyrics maybe that's the direction she's going i don't know um, probably not judging by the beautiful kind of black and white aesthetic from the and the homemade kind of aesthetic as she described it herself with the pictures and the pictures from the eight different covers it's kind of giving me the same vibes as safe and sound from the hunger games soundtrack uh which i've always loved um it was one of the first songs that or that uh like hunger games soundtrack it's one of the first songs that i saved on spotify um because around when that came out is when i started using spotify um so yeah i'm very excited for folklore um I would show you my lover CD, but I don't have one because normally if I'm covering an artist, I like to show their album to say that I'm genuinely a fan or whatever, um, which I am for Taylor Swift. But I was trying to get it on Amazon um, and it's not actually available. Well, it is available on Amazon, but you can't get it delivered to Ireland for some reason. That happens with some CDs. So that's a bit disappointing. Um, I was thinking of getting it in the stores, but I haven't actually been to a music store um, with the lockdown and stuff, or I haven't, you yeah, haven't seen it in the store either um, since lockdown. But yeah, that's it really. Uh, comment below your thoughts and opinions and stuff. Uh, and again, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Taylor Swift stuff. See me talk more about folklore maybe. Maybe I'll like bring some of my own perspective as an Irish person, uh, with folklore being a huge part of our culture and heritage. Um, not sure that might tie in. Um, I'm interested. I'm interested to see where it goes. I mean, it sounds the title alone and sounds kind of like um, a slight return to her country and um, sort of roots which makes sense with folklore and the kind of storytelling. Um, I've been listening to Dolly Parton's Jolene album recently. Love it to bits. Um, and then I've been listening to and singing, you might have seen some of my uploads, to some Casey Musgraves, um, who just gets that blend between country and pop so, so, so well. Um, yeah, so I'm just interested to see where it goes, where she falls in that spectrum of pop and country. I mean, Lover does bring us back to some country stuff. We got some Dixie Chicks or the Chicks as they go by now um, on the the track listing as well. Um, Lover is, in my opinion, from my knowledge of Taylor Swift's discography and what I gravitate towards and listen to, it's kind of her um, Joanne album, uh, a la Lady Gaga. And Lover is, um, you know, Lover is the million reasons. I feel like that makes sense. It makes sense in my head anyway. Um, do you guys agree? Um, and I mean that as like a, a great comparative uh, or comparison. Um, I've also co covered <laughs> Lady Gaga's million reasons. I swear I'm just advertising all of my covers. But I cover songs because I like them. So um, I also tend to talk about the songs that I like. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm going to stop now. I think that's it. Um, hopefully the audio quality is okay. Um, I'm going to get a new microphone soon, I think. Um, but yeah, thank you for tuning in. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to my ramble. Um, if you've made it this far, congratulations. You are a dedicated Taylor Swift fan or a dedicated Owen Burke fan. Probably the former, not the latter, but I mean, good job either way. <laughs> uh, talk to you soon. Oh god, I'm gonna stop it now.